Hello and welcome again to m and Ambassadors, another episode on the USP becoming the ultimate sales professional. Now in the last couple of episodes, we've been talking about how to build rapport and we've looked at conscious rapport and unconscious rapport. We're now discussing unconscious rapport, which is the most powerful of uh, relationship building influencers that you can use. And it is something that you will use throughout your selling presentation. So today I would like to help you understand a concept which is called whole brain thinking. Now it's important to understand whole brain thinking because then we will be able to identify our buyers and sellers by fitting them in the right quadrant or part of the brain. So let's start firstly by understanding today the left brain and the right brain. In the next episode I will talk about the front brain and the back brain. So, to talk about the two quadrants, left and right, let me just give it to you as a diagram. So that is the brain that you're looking at, okay? Now the brain is divided into left and right. Now, both of these brains do not think, communicate or process information in the same way. You could be talking about buying the same product you could be the same salesperson with that client or the seller or buyer, but each of them will approach the decision from a very different perspective. So what we need to understand now is how do left brain thinkers evaluate information? What is the approach that they like to see when they are buying or selling? And how will they actually make the decision? You see the left brain is logical, structured, fact-based and they are efficiency driven. So what this means is when you are talking to a left brain person, it's not about being friendly with them. It's not about trying to build a relationship through personal engagement. They don't appreciate that. What I like from you is if you can come straight to the point, you've got your facts which you can back up with the evidence. I see you using an effective approach. Don't waste my time. We are driven by results and effectiveness. We want things done fast. We are high risk takers. We get the big picture. I don't need all the details. One, three, five, ten. That's all I need. And I need to see in the salesperson confidence. I need to see their competence. And I need to see that they understand facts, numbers, evaluations. That's, that's what makes me take a buying decision. So straight to the point, no jokes, no friendliness, clear structure, logical approach, strong facts, the bottom line results, and how quickly can I make my money from this? When you speak to them, you don't use vague subjective language, specific, objective, to the point. You don't, you make a statement like a lot of buyers today are considering. They don't like that. They don't understand what does a lot of buyers mean. To grab their attention, you would have to say 70% of the buyers today are considering. That they get. So if you want them to understand what you're saying, to process that information, make sure that you have the numbers in it because they are numerate people. They like to evaluate and compare. They also don't like too many words. So keep your sentences short and to the point. Here's another example. Let's say you want to find out what this client thinks about that opportunity. I'd simply say, so what do you think? Don't take the name. Don't get into a long sentence. For the right brain, the same question would be, so Ahmed, how do you feel about this particular opportunity? So you see, it's a longer sentence, more friendly and more subjective. Left brain does not like that. We don't like to work with people whom we feel are soft, scattered, disorganized, don't have specifics. Because to me, I cannot rely on you to give me exactly what I want, exactly when I want it. So to summarize, for the left brain, specific, in control, factual, effectiveness driven, bottom line oriented. That's where they will feel comfortable with you. Now the opposite of that is the right brain. The right brain is driven by feelings, relationship, communication, they are very subjective, 
and they go with gut feel. What I mean by that is they are constantly evaluating and judging. They're constantly making the evaluation based on how they feel about what you're saying. So they will process based on that. They are listening not to the brain, so to speak, or the technical information. They are listening to the heart. How do I feel when I am having this kind of a conversation? How do I feel when I hear about that community? How do I feel when you explain to me about that buyer who is interested in my villa? So, good eye contact, friendly approach, use their name a lot subjective casual sentences they don't like in fact structure sequence order too many facts step-by-step -step process so keep this in mind and you will see it's a very different influence when you are approaching a right brain person or a left brain person now in the next video i will talk to you about the front brain and the back brain and then we'll pull all of it together to introduce you to the four types of buyers and sellers i want to thank you for your time with us on this episode of m a ambassadors becoming the ultimate sales professional